All right, Business 290 students, we are at a new point in our semester and after having done a couple of writing prompts, we're now going to be moving to a different way of doing our homework. The Chapter 3 homework, whether you access it from Canvas or from Blackboard, is a little different. You're going to see that I've provided a Microsoft Word file for you. So the first thing you'll want to do is download that file and begin to work with it. And as you're doing that, I want you to see that um, you are being asked to follow the five-step process introduced in chapter three. So rather than pr producing a single writing response, you're going to be slowing down and going through the steps that we discussed in class, starting with this contextual forces. So I'm providing you with a scenario. Um, I don't give you every single detail. You're going to have to make some of them up. So understanding um, this prompt, we've got a situation with Elvis and Jane. You're going to under read this prompt and then uh, um, describe the two contextual forces that are involved here. And I'm suggesting that you've, because you've downloaded the Microsoft Word version of this file, now you can just type in your response here. To help me as your reader, understand what you've written versus what was already in the prompt, one idea might be to put it in italics or some other way to identify for me easily um, how you are responding. So step one, contextual forces. Step two is a little bit tricky. We need to know what your objective is. So Jane has to create a message in response to Elvis. Right here you're going to write this objective statement. Now this is something that Jane is going to use in her own mind to craft her response. This is not something that will ever be given to Elvis. So this is her internal tool. What is her objective in this communication? So that's what you would type here for her objective, um, what she's trying to accomplish. As we move along in this um, scenario, we now have um, opportunity to describe Elvis. So when we talk about understanding our audience, this is where you would describe what you believe Elvis to be, where he's at in his life and what's happening with him. Step four, we're going to recognize that now that we've figured out who Elvis is, what the situation is, we're probably going to have to make some adjustments to our message. And so those adaptations that we'll find in the chapter three, section four would be described here. And now we are going to create an outline. So that outline will go here. What I want you to be really clear about is that that's the end of the assignment. So you are not going to be actually crafting this message at this point. What I'm asking you to do in this particular chapter homework is to slow down, understand all of the steps that we go through or should go through as we're crafting a message, especially one that's not a positive message, it's a difficult message, um, and complete each one of those steps. Later on in the semester, we will craft our final response. Please contact me if you have any questions. This assignment is different than the ones you've been doing so far, um, but I hope you enjoy it.